So today we're going to discuss my uh, little handheld gimbal over here, and I use this strange-looking device over here. We plan to use this in um, our FPV meet to do interviews and discussions with pilots and, you know, just some interesting stuff. So the basic components are is a almost a uh, U-type handheld frame, and on top of that, I've got a FPV transmitter, a Boscam transmitter, a battery, and um, a two-axis gimbal, and a, um, in this case, a run cam. If we turn it over on the other side, we'll also see this green over here, and that is a, uh, a uh, high-gain microphone that's in there. So, the basic idea behind this guy is that we have the ability to um, interview someone and uh, the video from the run cam um, is then transmitted via the FPV uh, um, transmitter over here to our base station where we mix it in with some uh, um, into our into our video feed but um, you know but uh, you know the microphone inside the run cam and and the Mobius and such is very bad so we actually you know I installed this high gain microphone over here so um, and I split the audio away and get the audio from here from the microphone and it's got a little um, uh, um, amplifier in there um, so uh, it amplifies the sound so it works pretty well and so video comes from here comes from the run cam the USB plugs in here and goes in into the into um, this plug over here and um, then, um, you know, all of that is mixed into the FPV transmitter and that transmits down to our base station. So how it actually works is, you know, I'll turn it on and um, you'll actually see it working over there. As you can see, it can move forward or backwards and uh, the little um, uh, um, camera stays pretty stable. This is though only a two axis gimbal. And I'll show some footage of, of, of that now. Typically, um, I use a handheld gimbal like this, which is a much more, uh, a, a bigger and much more expensive three axis gimbal, which gives you, um, you know, there's an axis, there's an axis, and there's an axis. And I'll also show you some footage from this guy. But of course, this guy has some uh, disadvantages. It doesn't have, you know, the FPV transmitter, and that this is really just for photography. This guy takes it one step further and also adds, you know, um, the FPV transmission, and it also, uh, you know, of course, you can record at the same time on the Mobius. So, and the other big difference is, you know, this guy is uh, two hundred dollars. Um, just for uh, um, this setup and that comes without this I mount my microphone on here um, this guy is much cheaper it you're talking somewhere in the region of fifty dollars and and twenty dollars and you so under a hundred dollars you can actually build something like this with with the FPV transmission you can also of course you don't have to do the FPV transmission but you can build a gimbal like this for eighty dollars sixty seventy dollars maybe um, and then you just put a you know I put a Mobius on there you can turn it the other way and put a proper uh, um, you know uh, um, a GoPro or something on there but um, you know I, I just use this as cheap as possible so there's a Mobius on there so you know the other thing is this you know this bracket here has lots of um, fee, uh, uh, slots over here where I can put things like my, you know, if I wanted my my phone, for instance, uh, if if a camera was a Yi or something, I could mount this on there and I could be viewing that. I can put a flash or or a, or a flood light at the bottom. So it has ports for for adding a lot of those kind of things uh, and extra uh, items to it. Where this guy doesn't have that. Um, uh, uh, um, you know, you have to bolt it on like that. But let's um, look at some footage of that and, and see how that's working. And um, I really like this setup. I really think it's good. 
but you know just be aware uh, you know this is a two axis gimbal and and it will never look as good as a three axis but but for the price I think you'll be surprised at how well it works and I'll also put in you know the, the uh, you know unstabilized just from a normal handheld camera then the two axis and then the three axis so let's see how that looks so uh, I'm just gonna walk around here a little bit and show the difference between the three. So I have three cameras here. I have an unstabilized view from a run cam. I have a two axis gimbal stabilized by my handheld gimbal and then I have a three axis. So um, here's a view from all three of them. Um, one thing of course that a two axis gimbal doesn't do well as um, it's only a two axis. So um, um, you know of course uh, if I do a swerve like this, you'll see the difference how a three axis gimbal um, actually um, does much better because it has that extra axis that it needs to. And you'll, so you'll still see some shaking in the two axis. Not as bad, of course, as the unstabilized completely, but um, you will still see some shaking. So um, if I can view and show you, there's the three axis. So you know, if you turn a three axis, you will see that it slowly pans over. And of course, a two axis doesn't have that third axis that it that it can do. But you know, for a for a a hundred dollar um, handheld gimbal, this guy really does pretty well. You know, again, there you can see it. I can move it, and um, you can see it working. So um, you know camera quality of course there's a big difference in the cameras um, uh, um, the ones a um, you know a uh, the other ones a a SJ 4000 but um, there's a comparison and um, so you know if I'm walking over more rougher terrain we can view it and see um, you know how it performs between the three cameras the unstabilized and um, so you know and panning again Whew. this is hot the road is very hot <laughs> it's summer over here so um, there we go just viewing the quality over there Panning and viewing the quality. So again, for our um, for the purpose I use this for, um, you know, just simple interviews over FPV, um, transmitting to our base station. The two axis is more than enough way more than enough uh, but the three axis does add that cinematic view which really makes um, it a, a great um, gimbal handheld gimbal so thank you and um, we'll uh, speak again soon